Hi, in this video I would like to explain the concept of nuclear forces inside an atom. You can see a sketch of an atom here with an electron rotating in an orbit and at the center of that atom is the nucleus. It has got protons which are positively charged, here they are shown in red color, and neutrons which do not have any charge. Now all of them are sticking together and the question is why are they sticking together? The protons logically should repel each other because they are positively charged and they should fall apart. They do not. The neutrons also should just drift away, but they do not. All these four things are sticking together. This is an example of a helium nucleus. If we look at another nucleus with just one proton in the center, you can see the uh, red ball with the positive mark, and three neutrons, the yellow colored spheres, they are also sticking together. And the same question arises, why are they sticking together? You also notice they are spinning about their axis. Now, the protons, when they are very close to each other, they are attracted to each other by a large nuclear force. So the scientists came up with the concept of nuclear force that keeps the protons together. It also keeps the neutrons together when they are very, very close to each other. So the nuclear force is so large that it wins against the force of repelling which comes from the electrostatic force, the Coulomb force. So it's a fight between the nuclear force and the Coulomb force. Now when I say small distances, I mean femtometer. Femtometer is 10 to the power minus 15 meters. And in the nucleus, as long as these protons and neutrons are very, very close to each other, the nuclear force will be very large and it will work to keep them together. The moment they are kept separate, let's say one proton in one coffee mug and another proton in a separate coffee mug, it will not work. And the electrostatic force of attraction, the Coulomb force, will win over the nuclear force. Therefore, in a tightly packed nucleus, in a small nucleus, the nuclear force is really large. This concept worked because it could explain why small size nuclei are stable and why the large size nuclei are not stable. So in a small size nuclei, because of the very closely packed protons and neutrons, the nuclear forces are very strong, so they keep them together. That's a stable nucleus. In a very large nucleus, the protons and neutrons are farther away, so the repelling forces become stronger and they could drift away. That makes it an unstable nucleus. Now, how big is this nuclear force? Is there an equation for it? Not yet. And some will say, luckily, not yet. Now the attraction force, a nuclear force is always an attraction force, it's the same whether it's between a proton to proton or proton to neutron or neutron to neutron. That's why in a helium nucleus all those four guys together, they all hold each other together. Also if you notice they are spinning about their own axis, which means that they all have a spin angular momentum. Now the spin angular momentum also contributes to the nuclear force. The nuclear force is larger if two neutrons are kind of having a parallel spin and the nuclear force becomes a little less if let's say two protons are spinning in opposite directions or an anti-parallel spin. So in summary, the nuclear forces inside the nucleus depend upon the small distances between the protons and neutrons as well as on the spin angular momentum of each of those spheres and the shape of that sphere is an assumption which I covered in my previous video. Thanks and have a great day.